is settled down we will we will starting yeah got it the press conference Hello? yeah sorry for the inconvenience caused but uh, uh, so should we start good afternoon i am nitin sapre from pib i welcome mr riddhi sen thank you so much uh, a lead role played in nagar kirtan film by kaushik uh, ganguli and mr sandeep pampalli yes. uh, director of the film sinjar uh, i think the first movie made in uh, jasarai yeah. uh, that is a dialect uh, in uh, spoken in lakshadweep island so that is there this uh, um, uh, sandeep pampalli's f debut film back to awards one is for uh, the best film in the dialect just like just right and uh, the debut uh, director so with this but the ba basically the film is on ordinary uh, ordinary fisherman and two women this uh, sister and uh, fiance and their struggle with the they are they were uh, captive and this thing by the terrorist and their struggle with the terrorist and uh, then their communal harmony the work for the communal harmony they made the film talks about that secondly this nagar kirtan uh, uh, film bengali film uh, directed by kaushik ganguli and uh, the lead role played by uh, mr uh, riddhi sen he is with us i welcome you both for this press conference and friends you are also welcome after the uh, first uh, press conference after the lunch so i would request uh, uh, mr pampali please initiate a dialogue and then uh, uh, subsequently um, uh, uh, riddhi sen will also uh, will speak and then we will uh, the floor will be open for the question and answers please <coughs> hello good afternoon my <coughs> before starting a few words i would like to all the press medias please mention my name only pampali in movies i put my name as pampali only and regarding my movie sinjar is a place in iraq of course uh, most of the uh, all people knows about the importance of sinjar actually the isis terrorists were captured this uh, place it's called uh, mount shinkar sinjar in 2014 and from that day it is uh, they started their islamic state all over the world and they started to the capturing the nearest places so just near to the sinjar then mosul like they started their uh, captivity during their captivity in 2014 they captivated many uh, ladies especially the yazidi ladies and uh, small girls and they were brutally sexually harassed and they were abducted in their dark house so actually my story which which indicate or which uh, which shows that how the international terrorism affect an ordinary fisherman's life in lakshadweep island and uh, you have heard a lot of uh, terrorist attacks in all over the world mm -hmm. and different kinds of problems mm -hmm. then uh, we never thought how that kind of news or that kind of incident can be affect an uneducated a, an ordinary as a fisherman who is living inside a small island called uh, kavarati yeah and uh, the this movies we totally shot inside uh, that island within 16 days but the uh, for its uh, pre production we uh, the permission and other uh, other things we have to pu uh, proceed because it's a union territory area you know and moreover it's a, st a, a small place with a strong communal uh, strength of uh, people so we have to seek some kind of uh, nocs from the different uh, communal caste and so and so 
after we got the final permission to shoot that uh, particular island. And of course, I would like to thank all the Islander people of uh, Kaverati who supported and uh, give full heart support to complete this movie uh, only because we are shooting and uh, producing uh, or making this movie in the dialect of uh, Jesari. And uh, uh, this movie uh, got two national awards. Uh, at the same time, it's already uh, showcased, first time showcased in uh, Festival de Cannes in Indian Pavilion. After that, the opening, uh, this was the opening movie of ASEAN Indian Film Festi Festival. Then uh, it's for the Brisk International Film Festival and uh, two more festivals in Korea. Parallel, it uh, won the several awards throughout in India. Uh, Shimla International Film Festival was the uh, best movie and for the Lake International Film Festival the best uh, cinematographer, best movie and best script and uh, so many awards. So far it uh, received nearly uh, uh, eight awards and participated nearly 20 international and national uh, festivals. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Yeah, thank you. Right. And uh, uh, recently um, uh, it's, it's a wonderful thing that uh, this is the movie uh, that has been selected almost the all uh, best film festivals in India. And uh, just uh, two, uh, one, one and a half week back, it has been showcased in Kolkata International Film Festival in Unheard, uh, uh, Unheard India, the category of Unheard India. And just after the um, IFI Indian Panorama, and it is uh, showcasing uh, in uh, uh, 9th of uh, December for the International Film Festival of Kerala. And uh, of course, uh, it's a, a, a wonderful experience ever uh, we got. And uh, apart from this, <laughs> you want to ask something? I can yeah, share my ideas. Yeah. Sure. Uh, uh, pri prior to that, I, I, I would request uh, uh, the Senji also to have a narrate dialogue. the story. Narrate the story. Speak about his film, uh, which has also backed four uh, uh, national awards in different categories in uh, 65 uh, national yeah. 65th national uh, film uh, awards so i request you to have a uh, yeah i think uh, we, we are very lucky that when this film nagar kirtan is going to release so it's going to release in a time when 377 was abolished so we're going to release this in january it's a story about a transgender girl i mean a boy you can say who has a woman trapped inside a male's body and uh, as you, as we all know that how the conditions are for these people when they figure out that there's a woman trapped inside their body and they can't do anything about it. So what happened in this story, uh, it's on screen today. Also, if any of you are free, please do come along for the screening at 6 o'clock at Inox 2. And uh, so it, he falls, this, this, this girl falls in love with this flute player called Madhu. And then they escape on a journey together, uh, leaving their household, their, even the transgender community, who also not allow allows them to uh, believe in an uh, you know unparalleled love you can say so they set out on a journey together uh, a journey which is devoted towards true love and to find the true being within so this is the story all about without not <laughs> revealing much about the story i said it yes, but i clear. yeah but uh, i think i should talk about my director mr kaushik ganguly because he faced a lot of constraints before making this movie because here in india people are still afraid to produce third gender movies sometimes. Yeah. he In Kolkata, he approached several producers, but he didn't get one. So he told me that I'm going to make this movie, but I don't know when. But I had a faith in him that I knew that he's going to make this movie. And finally, Sani Ghoshre, Acro Acropolis Film, agreed to produce this movie. Uh, they, 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 it's their first movie, you can say. And uh, the first movie backed them for national awards. So I think that is the power of true content and the power of uh, the belief in cinema and oneself. And uh, it's, it's one life-changing experience for me because I played the character of a girl, a transgender girl. And as you know, that unlike Hollywood uh, or Hindi cinema, we don't, in regional industry, we don't get six to seven months to prepare for a character. So we shot the movie with zero preparation and in 20 days. So uh, for me, the transformational part was a little difficult. Not little, I think. A like a very, very, very difficult uh, because I had to go through a complete look change and uh, to forget all about all my nuances, my walk, my talk, the way I eat, the way I sit, 
uh, even my voice for that matter. So the entire credit goes to Mr. Koshik Ganguly and our unit who shot this movie in 20 days, which is very, very little time uh, for regional cinema, the kind of money we don't get that amount of a budget like uh, Hindi movies or uh, Hollywood for that matter. So I think uh, that's uh, this entire credit goes to the team and also real transgender people help me in uh, doing this character. I owe it a lot to them because they shared their own experience before and after they went through their surgeries and how they are still not accepted even after their surgeries uh, in our so-called uh, <laughs> society, you can say. So, but, but I think I'm very happy that the film is releasing after the abolition of 377. It's going to release in January, for that matter. And I really hope that this film, I don't know, but still I think cinema can change at least 1% of the society. So I think uh, our film is a little um, effort to uh, plunge into the darkness and help those people who are not get being accepted the way they are about their true identity. And uh, so I don't know how it will affect people, but I'm sure this will help at least a few of them, definitely. Yeah. And the national award I won, I think this is just not my national award. It is uh, for those people who are struggling every day to accept themselves. Uh, I mean, stuck in their own identity crisis. And uh, this is something which I, which is very alien to me, the concept of identity, because I know what my orientation, I know who I am, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, so the entire thing, so when I read the script, beautifully written by Mr. Kaushik Ganguly and researched by him, so in the process of the <coughs> ongoing movie, I realized that how much pain, how much, w what deep crisis these people go through. So I think once people watch this movie, they will understand that what actually happens, a lot of facts has been shown which are really kept hidden. Uh, Mr. Ganguly researched this for years and he wrote this script. And, uh, and thanks a lot to Indian Panorama because this is something, Ify is a place where we would, like we all like to say that my film has been selected at Ify. <laughs> so, uh, so I'm really grateful that I came here for the second time I was telling you because yeah. I came uh, earlier for this movie called Children of War by Mrityunjay Devrath. It was on 1971 uh, Bangladesh War. It was Farooq Sheikh's last movie. So I never thought that, I, don't, I never knew that when I'm going to come back again. So I'm really, really happy that uh, with the atmosphere, whenever you step into Ify, the vibrant atmosphere all around, the, the selection of films, the kind of movies which comes here. In fact, this time the Israeli films I've been noticing, it, it, it is an amazing panel and uh, the selection of movies are amazing in the Israeli section. So I'm really happy and privileged that my movie came here after winning all the national awards and it's getting showcased here in, uh, in an international film festival. With this, thank you. And now the floor is open for the questions. Please. Any questions? If not, I have a question uh, yeah. to Pampali. Yes, first. sir. It, may I allow to? Uh, basically, this uh, you said that it's a very. Uh, how was the experience? It's a uh, shooting a film in 16 days. Is yeah. really. Uh, uh, sure. I, 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 I just uh, understand how. So I, I think it must be a separate story itself in it. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, please uh, share um, your. Uh, some of the experiences of doing sure. it in the 16 days. Yeah, um, actually, um, according to me, because, you know, uh, being a new director, and if he is working for a debut director, and definitely he has some kind of, uh, uh, I mean, the troubles, and he have to uh, face many, many things together, and definitely he has some, uh, some sort of uh, stress and strain, everything should be there. But... Apart from, I have to face another uh, big uh, problem that was uh, uh, the island. Because um, that island, if uh, during the shoot, if some uh, equipments got any problem, we can uh, uh, very very easily go, back, go, go come and back and take that uh, instrument replace or something that. It is not possible. And the thing is that uh, we are getting, uh, every day we have only single flight from uh, um, Agati Island to the uh, land, I mean the Cochin. But the thing is that it is only uh, in the morning 11.30 flight. If, if we miss that one, uh, that one, we have to wait until the tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, And uh, that flight should be a very few seats and mostly that seats will be occupied by the uh, government officials and so and so. So the travel and uh, by uh, talking about the ship, uh, it will be in a, uh, uh, in in three days or or four days we can get that and that will be reached in Kochi within two or three days, 
and um, it's very difficult and uh, moreover um, uh, by uh, starting uh, my uh, starting the uh, my work my first struggle was uh, regarding my uh, the language of jesseri because uh, that language it doesn't have any kind of uh, dialect or uh, grammar or nothing is there so first i wrote this script in malayalam my my language malayalam then after that i went over there and stayed there with uh, uh, one and a half to uh, uh, one and a half to two two month over there and i find out some uh, local people from uh, the islanders and started to uh, uh, interact with them and every dialogue every evening i am um, coming into my room with the two three uh, assistant director uh, directors i made them as my assistant directors of young people of rakshadeep <laughs> island and uh, uh, i'm i'm t i'm discussing every day uh, my uh, malayalam dialogue with them and after they are uh, getting their feedback i i write down the sc a new script with uh, uh, that uh, jesseri and i, I just uh, write down everything in malayalam and uh, the next crisis came when the uh, there is uh, uh, 10 to 15 uh, main actors from the malayalam industry and uh, when they are uh, participated uh, um, in my movie i just gave them some training uh, especially for the uh, this kind of language but uh, during the shoot most of the words they can't pronounce uh, properly then arise another problem uh, then uh, i do uh, another uh, task for uh, correcting the dialogue i made uh, again the reconstruction on this spot and i i made uh, this is the thing i want to communicate and i uh, asked my uh, local people uh, i mean the local assistant directors you spell different type of uh, uh, the the uh, that that kind of meaning uh, with a different style of uh, uh, sentences so then one pe person will say um, should um, he said uh, one sentence and uh, another person said another type and the third person said another one and all together i uh, i uh, i told my actor to notice which one you can pronounce very easily <laughs> and uh, he said yeah i can spell this one then i uh, uh, that that, uh, that sentence i quoted there and it, uh, let him to uh, study that well and then we will shoot and that kind of procedure i have to uh, uh, do from the beginning to the end of the movie and uh, mostly we did uh, nearly 10 to 12 scenes only the night scenes the entire other scenes are shot in the day time so we have to start the uh, shoot from the early morning to the 5 o'clock i hope i finished uh, every day uh, nearly 5 uh, to 6 scenes that uh, actually it's a, a running process there is no time to even have the food because when i'm having food i am uh, um, i told my uh, other assistants to set the lights and other things over there the uh, the mean time uh, i was heating uh, eating the food and other things the uh, at the same time the uh, other other all other team are going for another that kind of job is every day happening and you know the <laughs> that kind of uh, shooting procedure and it's another language and we have to uh, the the most important thing if it is in malayalam i can understand what what is happening the lip movement first we choose uh, um, it it will shot in a zing sound but uh, we i realized that it is not possible with the uh, this kind of uh, um, language so i made uh, at the i took the other ambience and um, all the ambience i uh, catch up and i try to uh, it uh, dub again and when during uh, the dub started it's uh, again the uh, uh, another problem because most of the words are not they are not uh, properly pronounced. pronounced and their lip is something different then i have to search another word for that suits their lip lip movement i think i took nearly uh, one and a half month to complete the dub process only oh. and it's that uh, when uh, when uh, after completing the movie when i uh, just reverse back what i did for this movie i was so afraid <laughs> how, how i can uh, complete this movie in such a uh, in a short time and uh, um, in, in such like a, actually speaking it's an a himalayan task and uh, it <laughs> i could finish anyway Uh, that's a uh, experience i got yeah. same same is the story i'm sure with uh, uh, ridhi with you also not as difficult as not as difficult yeah. i'm sure no nee, but uh, the, the, your difficulties may be in transforming yeah, you yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, character the role yeah, character the transformation so, part of it i guess because yeah. uh, we shot it in 22 
days I guess yeah. but the yeah, hardest but, uh, part was the coincidentally both the movies are short in a very short, short, time. short but, time but the problem for me was that the prep time was not there because I was shooting for something else and we didn't know that this movie will go on the floors in August we shot it last year August because no producer was ready to produce this so suddenly uh, acropolis came in and the, pro- uh, the the movie started rolling so we barely got time to prepare and i was engaged with some other projects so uh, i got zero time to prep for this character and i was afraid as hell before starting off this movie <laughs> because i never i didn't know how to convince myself into such a character uh, to begin with because i had to undergo like i had to shave like twice a day <laughs> because the first day i shave and and by the by evening i get my stubbles out and then the makeup process took like an hour uh, one and a half hour every day and i'm so not used to uh, eyeliners <laughs> kajals and all of that lipsticks and makeup and all of that so that so i had to be very patient with that and to wear the wig and also the hardest part was to uh, capture the physicality and to maintain that fine line that it doesn't it shouldn't look caricaturish and that's the most difficult part it shouldn't look that i'm making fun out of something so it had to be yeah, it, yes, the yes. balance needed to be there very well because uh, the walk was very difficult the run was very difficult and i had to wear heels and i had to run and i can say that i ran b- as good as any other girl in heels i'm sure <laughs> because i didn't like uh, flip my toes at all so and uh, and my like feet used to like die by the end of the shoot because of those heels i had to wear sarees i remember we were shooting in this bus stand uh, in this place called krishna nagar in uh, kolkata it was 42 degrees it was so hot and i had i had three saree changes that they had to do it inside a bus i remember because the vanity couldn't come in uh, such a situation so changing th- from like changing three sarees to a day to changing my voice in the dubbing because i can't use this voice so uh, so this was a very patient process i can tell you because on the first day of set everything seemed that i can't do it so it it started from that level but gradually we relax and my mr ganguly said that keep uh, faith in me trust me just relax and we'll get to the end of the movie and i actually saw this kind of a process requires a lot of patience uh, usually the job of acting itself requires a lot of patience we all know as dustin hoffman said that actors are paid for their patience not for their acting but in these kind of movies you need to be very patient when you are really transforming yourself completely and uh, i think there you need a director who can keep your uh, concentration going push you uh, beyond the limits i mean push you beyond what is expected out of you maybe i know i can go to 50 uh, till 50 but he can push me and he can take me to 110 so i'm extremely lucky that i uh, got a director like mr ganguly who is an extremely amazing actor himself very few people are privy to this information but he's an extremely amazing actor and uh, so he guided me uh, very well i used to observe my girlfriend my mother how they eat how they're taking their pallu how they're walking how they're sitting i used to observe all of that constantly i saw this movie called the danish girl as a reference point by eddie redmayne who won the oscar so it was also about lily elbe the first transgender woman in the world so that movie helped me a lot in uh, to understand the physicality of a woman and most importantly the psychology of a woman that is very 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 hard to understand more hard than the physical procedure i would like to say yeah so no wonder you have a uh, the film has backed uh, yeah. award for uh, makeup <laughs> as well as uh, yeah it won uh, like check. best jury the best, uh, best jury makeup best costume and, and i don't know how i actor. backed it but yeah. i'm lucky maybe <laughs> so thank you very much uh, thank once you again so much. Uh, uh, for coming to this press conference and uh, uh, both of you yeah. and please you. if any of you are free yeah. come to our movie it is 6:00 uh, o'clock i knocks to i knocks to sorry i knocks to 6:00 o'clock it's called nagar kirtan so please come down if interested thank you the next press conference would be at 4:00 o'clock thank you so much thank, thank you. you thank you